The United Nations Global Development Organization presents the International Peace and Spiritual Award to His Divine Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda. The award was presented to His Divine Holiness on the 29th of October 2018 for bringing about the superconscious evolution of humanity. The United Nations Global Development Organization stated that His Divine Holiness was entitled to the trust and confidence of members of its governing council. India's constitution document is known as the longest of any sovereign country. But the Hindu minorities in eight Indian states are not afforded the rights of other minority groups. A plea has been filed by Delhi BJP leader Ashwini Kumar in the Supreme Court. In India, Hindus cannot open and run educational institutions and teach religious subjects like Bhagavad Gita as other minority groups are free to do. The government controls the management of Hindu religious organizations like temples, which is not the case for other minorities. The government taxes Hindu temples but gives aid to minority mosques and churches, while not giving to Sanskrit Vedic schools and Hindu religious institutions. There are taxes to visit Amarnath and Vaishnav Devi but going for Hajj is subsidized. Muslim girls on passing the board exam get government scholarship but not for Hindus. Muslim students get monetary benefit on obtaining 50% marks in primary education but Hindus do not even if obtaining 95% marks. Temples pay tax on their income but mosques and churches do not. Articles 28 through 30 are for supporting minority groups in India but are not afforded to Hindu minorities in eight states. The call for repeal of constitutional discrimination against India's Hindus is growing. Stolen deities from Hindu temples sell for $1.3 million in New York auction. Especially the, the most stylish one. And along with them, uh, one of Saint Sundarar with his wife Paravai uh, left India shows in the 1970s. And within a few hours of uh, getting these source images from the French Institute Pondicherry, we managed to track down this amazing Vinedara pair uh, to the Cleveland Museum in uh, and then uh, the Saint Paravai, uh, Saint Sundarar and Paravai to the Freya Sackler Museum. But interestingly, we also managed to find out uh, the auction catalogs of Christie's, where the Nataraja had been auctioned off for about $300,000 in uh, 2003 in New York. And the, the massive Vinadara was auctioned as late as 2013 for about 1.3 million euros. And uh, Christie's should declare, uh, disclose uh, who they sold. Uh, the Nataraja uh, and the Vinadara too. Uh, Indian government should formally write to them. We'd like to end today's Hinduism Now capsule with a fundamental principle of inquiry in Hinduism. Athatho Brahma Jignasa. Let us now inquire into the ultimate truth.